You might not recognize the name Merlin Davis, but his story will inspire you. For decades, he's built up quite a hobby and a following in Comanche. What makes him special? KTEX's anchor Braid Blanks shows us in this KTEX's special report. He's a celebrity in this town. <laughs> Everybody knows my daddy. The famous Merlin Davis. He's a very big heart. He's been in agriculture, a dairy farmer. He still rides in rodeos and parades. By the way, he's won 23 awards. <laughs> is currently a furniture maker, all at the young age of... I'm 93, 93 years and seven months right now. Think that's remarkable? How about the fact that he's done all of this with just one arm? He lost his right arm to a feed mill when he was just 24 years old. Well, I call it handicap, but you know, I never have felt like I was handicap much. Now my bit come out, now that's something else I got to go with. And it has never slowed him down. Even in triple digit heat, this is where you'll find him most every day his workshop. I put in six hours a day, maybe day eight sometimes. Still go all the time. I just love it, I guess. I just don't know why. I couldn't tell you why. We asked Merlin how he got into furniture making. He told us it all started with a honeydew. One day, my wife found a, an old slatted back. Just straight but a uh, chair that she asked me if I'd build her one for her desk in there. So I went out there and I made her that chair. Well, while I was making that chair, this friend of mine came by and he said, would you make me six of those? Business took off from there. He's made hundreds of pieces, rocking chairs, dining room chairs, swings, benches. But his up and atom routine came to a screeching halt this past April. He suffered congestive heart failure and pneumonia. I woke up one morning and there's a big old doctor standing in the room there with me. He said, I tell you, you sure was a sick man when they brought you in. I didn't know whether we were going to save you or not. <laughs> I guess now we're going to. They sure did. But they also gave Merlin the bad news that he had cancer in both of his lungs. He wasn't expected to make it through the month. Once again, he defied the odds and the doctor's orders. The doctor gave me three months to live in, in April. Now they told me I couldn't get out. I couldn't mow the yard. I couldn't go. Oh, no, you can't go shop. It's too dusty. But whenever we came home, I told the kids that I said, I'm going to the shop and I'm going to do whatever I want to do. And there's not a thing in the world you can do about it. And there's no use in your hollering because it's not going to work. I'm going. And I hooked up and I went and mowed the yard. And I come on out here and I've been out here ever since. Not dead yet. His daughter Linda says his fighting spirit is keeping him going strong. She doesn't expect him to slow down anytime soon. Oh, he always says to me. <laughs> but over the years, I've learned to just let him go. That's why I'm here, because, you know, his, his days are numbered. We're, we're aware of that. But I'm here to let him do what he wants to do until he can't do it anymore. Which is good, because it seems Merlin has the same idea. Just do what I'm doing, as long as I've got anything left to do with. He's tiny, but he's a giant. Everyone tells me he's an inspiration. This is this is a, a prime chair right here. Braid Blanks, K Texas News. Oh, good story. Thank you very much. Merlin says his favorite piece that he's made was that very first one he attempted. His wife's rocking chair. That's